Hi everyone, it's Diane Evans from StampinWithDiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the interior of British Columbia. Um, so if this is one of your first times joining, um, I'm so glad that you've joined us for this um, international video hop. Um, some very, very talented stampers on here. I'm honored to be among them. So um, our theme this month is um, holidays. So I thought that I like to do some, usually in the month of December, I like to do some 3D ideas, some gift card ideas. So I decided to combine it together. And what better way to combine it is with um, chocolate. So I'm going to make a Ferrero Rocher uh, gift card holder. Um, but, you know, like I say, what better way to um, combine it with is chocolate. So let me just jump on down to my desktop here. And I've got my scoring board so that I can show you. And I've got my little um, cheat sheet here showing you how to do it. In any event, this piece of cardstock, this is cherry cobbler. And I've got this six and three quarters by 11 inches. And I've scored it on the short side here at one inch and five and three quarter inch. Now, by doing that, what I've done is that's going to give me my um, thing where I can put my Ferrero Rochers. Then I've turned it and then where I've scored this, and I'm just gonna make sure that I check everything here to make sure I've got all the score lines. And I'll just actually do it right on here so that you can see the score lines. So my first score line is at two and three quarters. Then I've got my second one at five and a quarter, and that's for where the gift card and everything's gonna be. And then we're gonna have to open up our bar here on, on our trimmer. And then we're going to go down to eight inches and score that. Then we're going to go over to nine and a half inches. We're going to, whoops, we're going to score at eight inches. And then there's one at nine and a half inches. And then one at 10 and three quarter inches. Right there. All right. And then that's all the scoring that oh no there's actually a little tiny bit more scoring but I'll show you that when we get to it so then now this is where we have to go in and we have to do some cutting on this particular one now you could do this on your trimmer um, I prefer well I guess let me show you how you could do it on your trimmer so by lining it up at the one inch mark, because that's where we scored it, we don't want to cut any where the other score lines are, but I can turn around and I could score this from this mark here right up to the top. And then I'm going to do this also at the five and um, three quarters. And then I'm just gonna come down here and we're just going to go ahead and cut that. And sometimes that's the best way to go in to cut those big, long pieces. So then we're just going to trim this part off. And we don't really want those score lines on there. So we're going to cut on the other side of them. And I noticed I've just got to cut this a bit here. And then on each one of these ones here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to trim down this part here, here, and then this one here, we're actually just cutting that whole piece right away. And then we're going to do the same on the other side, just here. And here, and then I'll show you this once it's down. All right. So then what you also want to do is you want to miter in certain core, um, certain pieces here. I always say miter in on the smaller parts here. So we're just going to take that and just miter that part in. Um, and then we're going to do the same on this small side here and also right here. So you've got it where it's just like this. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side. Remember it's on the small side there. And again, on the small side there. Okay. 
And then that's how it all sort of works on here. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to use my bone folder and I'm going to tell you, we're going to score on this first one, but we're not going to score on this line here. We don't want to weaken that side there. So let me just come in with my bone folder. And of course, where is, it? there we go. So like I say, we want to fold in on this one, but not this one. Um, that we want straight so that we can end up having that at the back part there. So let's just get that folded in like that. And a little piece in here as well. And then we're just going to come in here and fold those in. And the same on this side as well. Now, I did neglect to put one thing. I forgot to bring one thing over. And that is my cut and emboss machine because there's one other thing that I decided to do after the fact. So I'm just going to come in and put the cut and emboss machine kind of off to the side here. And I've used one of my deckled um, rectangles. And what I want to do is on this part right here is I want to have this showing where I could actually show the chocolates that I'm putting in there. So I'm going to get that in between there in the middle. And just going to go ahead and just tape that down with some post-it note paper. And then because this is bigger than the six inches across here, I'm just folding this over here. And then I'm just going to bring this in like this and just run it through the cut and emboss machine. And I'll bring it back up the same way. So then I can show you how that completely works. So this is just going to come like this. And then this part here and it fits onto my box here, is going to come up like this, and you're going to be able to see the Ferrero Rocher in there. Now, we don't want them falling out, so I have a piece of the acetate that comes from your photopolymer stamp sets, that extra piece that's on here, or you could use a thick piece as well. And I've gone ahead, and I have cut that at... Uh, let's see, where is it? two and a half by four and a half. And then I scored it at two and a quarter because what I want to do is I want that to be just want that to be right in the middle there. And I'm just going to get a really good score line. Now I did do this not with my um my trimmer I actually did the score line with the um, the scoreboard so then what I want to do is I want to have this in the middle here so just like that and then I'm going to come in with my tear and tape and I'm just going to just put that right there right along here and then of course across here now I'm not going to take those pieces off until I know I've got it in the right spot I'll come in with my just going to this is one trick that I do an awful lot is I don't pull the full piece off but I've got it in just such a way that it's easy to pull it off afterwards. 
So it's just like that. Then I want to make sure that this is right in the middle. Just like that. That's going to fit on that part there. And there. And then I'm just going to pull that. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Just like that. Pull this piece off. This piece. And then I don't have problems with trying to re-stick it back in those spots. And then again, I'm going to go in and reinforce that score line there. And then, like I say, when I go to do this here, you're going to be able to see the Ferrero Rochers in there. All right, so let's go ahead and finish some parts of this up. Now, this part here is actually going to fold back on itself and this is going to fit in here like so. So what I want to do on here is I went and I cut. Um, this is the Joy of Noel specialty paper and I cut it in such a way that I know that it's right side up and then I marked it on the back. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that on there now. We're going to decorate this part first. Now if you wanted to, you could turn around and actually, oh my good heavens, let me just go in and prime that with my trusty little paper clip. I'm just going to put that right in there. Like I say, this is going... This goes like the opposite way and it goes down. That just gives you the extra reinforcement. So we're just going to put this on there. And then as far as the other decoration, we can worry about putting that on after. It's just because of the way that this folds into that. Now, I also went and cut. And I think I just threw it out. I cut a piece of another piece of cherry cobbler and it is going to fit right onto this part here because that's where the Ferrero Rocher are going to go. So I'm just going to come and put this on here and you'll see why because these Ferrero Rocher are going to move around a little bit. So we really don't want them moving too much. So I'm just going to get a couple of strips there just like this and we're just going to put three of the Ferrero Rocher there there and here and then that kind of gets them sticking so that when I go to put it down on this piece here, it's going to stick on there and not move around. So that's just a tiny bit of a tidbit that's on there. Now I can, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue that down on there. I want to make sure it's right there and in the middle. Now this piece happens to be four and five eighths by one and an eighth, just a tiny bit smaller than what the thing is there. And I should have done this while I still had that down, is I want to put that tear and tape right along that really small edge there. Now it's going to be too wide with this tear and tape, but I'm going to show you how you go about fixing that. So it's just going to go like that. Take that off and then we're going to fold it back on itself. Now I probably could have slid that in after. So then this part here is going to go right along this crease here, goes right along that crease right there. So we're just going to line that up there. And we're going to go in with our, I should have done this first before I put that other one on. 
milk to self. So it's just like that. And I'm just going to go in with my take a pick tool. Whoops. Take your pick tool. I'm just going to get that so that that's in there. And probably I could go in with my bone folder and get in a little bit further. And this is just going to go up to that crease line. It's not quite up there. And let's get that done with a bone folder as well. So you could reach along there and do your bone folder along there to get that crease that down there really, really good. So I would have done that ahead of time. Now, the other part is, is we want this part, these parts to go in and then this part to come up the front here and then here like so. Now, my whole thing is, is do you want them to wreck the box when they do it? I don't. So I'm going to come in with just a glue dot, or we could come in and we could actually tie a ribbon around there. I'm going to glue one end down. So let me just glue that end down. That's just going to go there. And then I want just this end here. We're just going to use a glue dot on there. And we could have used a glue dot on both sides there. So, but a glue dot at least is not going to rip the box. There we go. So we have that like that. And then this is just going like this. So now, whoops, we gotta hold that down. So let's just hold that. Now I have a piece of, um, and we're gonna start decorating it now. So we have that like that. All right, so I have, um, I've got a piece of gold foil and I cut it with a two inch circle. And then I figured what I could do is come in with the spare piece of, and I have that piece right here, of cherry cobbler. And then what we want to do is we're going to use our one and three quarter inch punch. Whoops. Oh, this is the other thing we have to do. So our one and three quarter inch punch is right here. So we're going to actually use that punch or if you have other punches, which I'm actually gonna come in and just use like a one inch punch, because I do tend to keep those kind of punches around. You could use a die cut for this as well. And I'm just gonna come in here and just put a notch in there because that's where the gift card is going to go in. Now we're gonna to wanna to do that back. But what I want to do is on this part here is I want to come in here and I want to mark where this gift card is going to go to. Because honestly, if we didn't do this one part here, you are going to lose the gift card in this package. So I'm coming down with my tear and tape. And I want to glue that down there. And that way it's not going to fall too far down. And that's just going to be on there. And then I'm going to glue the rest down. So by taking this, it's not going to move past that point. So when I put this down here and see it goes past that amount and what that's done is given the extra um, support that you need to keep this there so when I put my gift card back in there we are not going to lose it past that stage and that's very important that part is very important that you remember that part all right so we have that like that 
And we're going to make sure that we also, oops, just do a tiny bit of glue along there. Oops. I'm hoping that that glue. just like that and then this gift card's going to just slide in there and not move around all right now what we want to do is we want to go and decorate the back this is going to go onto the back so you've got something to write on or um, that sort of stuff is I am going to come in with my mossy meadow and I'm also going to use this um, this stamp set and the joy of Noel I'm going to go making spirits bright along there use this stamp set a lot just like that I'm going to put that across there in the cherry cobbler And cherry cobbler tends to get all over the place so you're going to want to make sure that you get this good and dry like that. and then i'm coming in with my mossy meadow and we're just going to put these holly berries down holly leaves and then we're going to put some holly berries right down there and that we're going to just let it dry before we put that on. Whoa, see? <laughs> and I have it all over my hands. So we've got to be very, very careful. All right. So let's just leave that for the time being. And then what we want to do now is we want to stamp on our um, cherry cobbler. I am so afraid to stamp that and I'm going to put um, this particular one tidings of comfort and joy onto the front so I'm just I always say when you're using a punch is to go and stamp first and then um, punch if you can this is just a tiny bit smaller than what that is so i'm just going to come in with my versa mark there we're going to use our gold embossing powder just use this on here like so and heat set that and then we'll punch it out with the one and three quarter inch punch that out so see how we want that to be kind of in the middle we've got our gold let's go ahead and pop that up and I also want to use this ribbon here so I'm thinking to myself what I should do is I'll just tie a bow with this ribbon oh those hands are awful that dimensionals and what a nice gift to give somebody give them a gift card and some chocolates um, 
Yeah, so let's go like this. Now, another thing you could do if you didn't have this gold and red uh, idea on here, because I kind of corresponded the chocolates to that, is you could do it in snowflakes and that sort of stuff. And you could put this one in there. That fits in there perfectly. And you know what? This is not going in as a card, so I'm actually going to pop that up as well. So, now, like I say, we could put it off. I prefer putting something off to the side there. And let's put, come in with a glue dot. Almost out of our glue dots here. It's on there. And then, is that going to stick on there? It doesn't kind of look that way, does it? And then we're going to come in with some gold gems. Hmm. So not the ones I wanted to use, but I will use them. Come in with this. We'll use these ones. You could also use those um, really fat, those pearls, uh, blooming pearls. They have some beautiful, um, the pearls would go really nice. They have a gold pearl on there as well. We could leave it with just one on there. I'm going to actually put the two or the three on there. There we go. Let's put one there and that up there. There we go. So there we have it. Oops, no, we still haven't. So let's go and put this right onto the back. Now that my hands, I think, are fairly dry. And just put that right on there like that. So this will also be um, featured in anybody that has subscribed to my um, email. They'll be getting this as part of the 12 days of Christmas ideas. So I hope you enjoyed that. And don't forget to go to the other blogs. Um, I mean, the other videos, um, they'll be right down below the list. And we will see you soon. Bye for now.